I'm Ben, I'm 39, going on 40 next year, and I'm a landscaper, currently in commercial landscaping. I've always been pretty active. I grew up playing a lot of footy, a lot of cricket when I was a kid. Um, and I've just sort of carried that on into my adult life. I always need to do something, go to the gym, or I did boxing for quite a few years because it's just a great sort of discipline. And I've always tried to maintain a bit of, a bit of fitness. I met my wife over in England. Um, she lives, lived in Perth, so we moved out here. I've got an eight-year-old girl and a six-year-old boy, nearly nine, so they keep us very busy. The first diagnosis was horrendous, I think. Probably more horrendous because it the first time. So I just had a lump in my armpit, just my left side, just a very innocuous sort of lump in the gland. Went to the doctors, he said, it's come back as melanoma, so that, and that was just one of the hardest things you can ever hear. So probably about four weeks after I found the lump, the biopsy came back as metastasized melanoma. Fortunately for me, it was just localised. I had an operation within a couple of, uh, within about 24 hours of the PET scan. Took out all my lymph nodes. About three or four weeks after that, I think I had radiation for every day for five weeks. And that was pretty much it for um, the first diagnosis. A couple of months after that, so it was about September last year, just really started feeling a bit unwell. I put it down to potentially uh, all the antibiotics I've had and the drugs and pain relief and bits and pieces. I'd self diagnosed myself with a stomach ulcer. That's what I thought I had with all the symptoms of reflux and bits and pieces. So I went back in and he said, tell me about the stomach ulcer. And I thought, if you're asking me about a stomach ulcer, it's not a stomach ulcer. Yeah, he said, look, the melanoma is back. It's what we thought would happen. It's, it's, it's disappeared for a couple of months and it's come back and it's come back in a big way. He said, what I will say though, is we've got some really good drugs at the moment. There's a lot we don't know about them at this point, but we do know that they're getting some really good sort of results and said, absolutely. I'll take whatever you can't operate and the prognosis is probably not going to be here anymore. I'll um, I'm gladly get on board. I just allowed myself not to invest too much in the bad news. Um, as soon as he said there's something that we've got um, that we're getting great results from, I thought bang that's it, that's what I'm, I'm just focused on that. Went hard on trying to look after myself and try to keep as fit as I could and give myself the best chance of getting through this. So the treatment initially was pretty, pretty easy really. I was supposed to have four uh, infusions of the two drugs and then once I got through those four, I was then gonna go into what I was told was two years of one of the drugs. And then I was due to have the fourth infusion and I really wasn't feeling great. But then we did a, a routine, another routine sort of scan um, to see if there was any response and the scan was clear. So I walked in and saw my doctor George and he just, he had a huge smile on his face and I thought, well, hang on, this, is, this could be good here. And he just said, look, what we want to happen has happened. You've, you've got a clear response. It's, it's gone, we've, we've turned it off, was his words. You can't get better than that. When someone like me gets a diagnosis of cancer and then three months later gets told you're cancer free, it's the most unbelievable feeling. After all the treatment and after the, you know, I could actually think about the future because there was a point there where I wasn't sure. I'm on a high vigilance in terms of my scan, so I have a scan every three months and that's all I have to do. Pretty much life back to normal. And it was just that feeling of, right, I can plan a holiday. I quit working for myself, work for someone else. I go to the gym, I go for a swim or take the kids, go play basketball or footy or cricket and just really focus on what's actually important. So what you're doing is unbelievable. It's worthwhile. It's you've given me my life back. I, I, I did for a while there. Think that I might not be around, and here I am talking about it. But lights and cameras. So thank you, thank you very much. It's it's my life back. <laughs>